This enables us to see the air currents, which could be carrying millions of germs into the air. Most of us think it's the most common way germs are spread. Turns out, maybe not. When the going gets tough, we get going with another hapless volunteer. Anything that you would normally do on a sneeze to be polite? Not today. Out the window. <laughs> nice. Huh? Fine. Nice. All, right. All right, let's take a look. Cue that Did up. Work? This is beautiful. Okay. Walk us through this. So at this point, she's reached full inhalation. Her lungs are full of air. Then the anticipation is, is getting there. She's about to open her mouth, expel the air at about 100 miles an hour. This is what 100 miles per hour looks like. It's not coming straight out of the mouth. <laughs> In kids and in animals, apparently, most of the snot comes out of the nose, and adults mostly the mouth. So you're expelling about forty thousand little particles per sneeze. Wow, the average human sneeze. Forty thousand particles carry something like one hundred thousand germs, all from one little sneeze. <laughs> Pretty sobering, but now to up the ante. So we have this UV reactive dye, and we're gonna give a little bit of gel for his mouth, and when he sneezes, it should see it go right on the plexi. Again, the tension mounts. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yes, That's a sneeze. Look at that. Woo! <laughs> Take a look at this <laughs> UV pattern. That's, That's all one sneeze. Don't forget, Joe had our special liquid in his mouth, which makes the explosive power of his sneeze even more apparent. You see how small those initial particles were. Right. Wow. These things can stay in the air for hours and hours, just floating yeah. around. Millions and millions of germs floating in the air for hours. Multiply that by six billion people, and it's clear why sneezing is nothing to sneeze at. See this poker party? Well, it's actually our lab for an experiment to see how germs can spread. So the UV light fluoresces this UV dye, and under normal light, you don't see anything. But in ultraviolet, we're going to be able to catch exactly what happens with this dye. That's pretty cool. So we got a helmet with that same UV dye. We can put it on. We're going to have Dan imitate a sick person. So if you want to start playing some cards, mm -hmm. we should get a real good look at what happens in a normal poker game when germs spread. So here's the deal. We've created a blacklight-friendly mucus that our players can't see, so we can get an honest assessment of just how far that mucus can spread. What's not to like? Why don't we go film some other germ work, yeah. and we'll come back here in 10 seconds. All right. Okay. Sweet. Have fun with poker, guys. Yeah. How's the game going, guys? Back for a quick status report at the poker table. Like, come over here. Take a hit. Show what, what does Dan look like for a second. Dan? Yeah. It's a dripping mess. Oh my god. Who's winning, by the way? Dealer. The dealer. And see our players' hands. All right, how's the poker game been? Oh, it's good. <laughs> it's been 45 minutes since we gave Dan our specially modified helmet and infected him with our substitute bacterial goo. Under normal light, this liquid is invisible, but under UV light, we can see just how far our germs have traveled. Can we bring the UV light in? We're going to give you guys a look at what we've been looking at this the whole time. This is disgusting. All right, I think you guys got to consider the game over. So let's take a look at all the things on the surfaces. Yeah, I'm poking. They are a UV representation oh, of the nerves. That. All right, we got fingerprints. Oh, look all at the glasses. Dan's glasses is looking pretty sickly. <laughs> no one took any sips out of that, hopefully. And the chips, a lot of them I mean, got everything. marks all over the place. It's, it's, on it's the everywhere. Bowls, it's on table everything. Table is covered. But did the germs spread to the other players? One at a time. Hey. Glad I didn't make out with you, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> 
it's not I'm getting nice. kind of a bit of a sore throat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would imagine you are. Somebody rubs their bottom lip pretty often. Right. I think we know your tell. You're bluffing. Do I have, do I have anything? <laughs> are you serious? Is it? No, I can see it in the... Uh, yeah, that's messed You're up. You're covered in it. <laughs> it's totally messed up. The UV light tells the story. All the players have been infected by Dan during the course of the game. Dan's germs spread from our time warp helmet to cards, chips, and chips, and from one player to another around the table. In microcosm, this is just how killers like the flu manage to hitchhike around the world, and the reason why pandemics get started. What can we do? Well, start by washing your hands a lot. Guys, I said your hands. Anyway, that's why we have clean running water. 